안녕하십니까? 니콜라스입니다. Today we are going to discuss what could potentially be one of the most revolutionary programming languages. Mojo. It's been a long time since I've seen so many people excited about a programming language. So today we're going to learn what Mojo is, why people are losing their minds over it, and what the code looks like. But first, let's talk about Python. Python is one of the most used programming languages in the world because it's very beginner friendly and easy to read and write. Because of this, it's used by all sorts of communities, web developers, data scientists, marketers, AI enthusiasts, etc. But Python is slow, super slow, hundreds of times slower than C++ or Rust. C++ and Rust, among others, are what we use when we want speed, when we want to be as close to the metal as possible, when we want to use all the cores, when we want to have full control. Another problem with Python is that it's hard to distribute. If I finish a Python program and I want to give it to you to run it, you will have to install Python in your machine, as well as all the other packages my program needs to run. Enter Mojo. Mojo is not a completely new programming language. Mojo is a superset of Python. Being a superset of Python means that it builds on top of Python. It uses all the Python features and syntax that everybody knows, and it adds a ton of new, much powerful features to it. Mojo makes Python as fast and powerful as C++ and Rust. Apart from a couple of things, Mojo and Python syntax are the same. This code will run in both Mojo and Python just fine. Mojo also aims to be fully Python compatible, which means that all the already existing Python packages and libraries will all work in Mojo by default. And this is how we can import Python libraries, in the case of NumPy, from a Mojo program. Mojo uses the that .mojo file extension as well as the that .fire emoji extension, which I think it's pretty cool. Even though Mojo understands Python code, that doesn't mean that the code will automatically run fast. If we want to enable fast mode in Mojo, we have to use different keywords. For example, this Python function will run in Mojo, but it won't run fast. To make it faster, to enable fast mode, we have to change the code to this. As you can see, instead of using def to define a function, we use the new keyword fn. And as you can also see, we have to tell Mojo that the name parameter is of type string. The fn keyword is very powerful. When you declare a function with fn, the Mojo compiler can make strong guarantees about the function's behavior and it can optimize it at compile time. It is the same with classes. Instead of writing our classes like this, we can use the new struct keyword. By swapping class for struct and def for fn, Mojo can optimize our data structures at compile time. Mojo also introduces two new keywords that Python did not have before, let and var. Using let and var, we can create immutable and mutable variables. We can use let for immutable variables and we can use var for mutable ones. Another cool thing about Mojo is that because it is compiled, when you finish a Mojo program, you can package it all into one file and deploy it. Mojo also comes with an ownership and borrow checker for memory safety following the ideas of Rust and because it uses MLIR, a compiler infrastructure, Mojo is able to do parallel processing compared to Python that is single-threaded, making Mojo super appealing for AI. Mojo is created by Chris Ladner, a legendary developer that in the past co-founded LLVM, the Clang compiler, and the Swift programming language. Mojo is still pretty new. The current version is 0.1. It does not support classes yet, and it's not even open source. To try Mojo, you have to sign up with your email to get an invitation for the Mojo Playground. The project is in its infancy. But nevertheless, people are very excited at the idea of being able to write super fast code using a syntax that is easy and familiar without compromising access to the gigantic Python ecosystem. Now I want to know what you think. Are you excited about Mojo? What do you think about it? Did you try it? Are you going to try it? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget that if you want to learn things like JavaScript, Python, React, React Native, Go, Dart, Flutter, among many, many others for absolutely free, all you have to do is click the link below low to join any of our many free courses that you can take right now for absolutely free with me. Click the link below and I will see you there. 언제나 감사하고 사랑합니다. See you on the next one. 다음에 봐요. Bye bye.